Hello. Today we're going to be painting an accidental auto underwater. Some mixing here at the very bottom. Go ahead, Leia. You can help me out. Okay. Leia has got her hands also dipping on both brushes. This is a co participate painting where me and Leia get to work on this beautiful ocelot. It's a little chilly, yes. We gotta be doing some little sand on the bottom. Both heaters now or not? Can we run both heaters now or not? It's gonna be here. Okay. You ran your mine all night. Yeah, you do. You used to. All we're gonna all be able day. to do this right here. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna talk about? I used to see you run all day long. So this is gonna be the bottom of the our fish tank painting. Now, because we got a, what do you call this? An anemone? Anemone. 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 I don't know. <laughs> we got one of these here. We got to work our way around it. So we're going to have to work our way around it. Just paint a little bit around it. See, this aren't supposed to be fun and not stressful. So don't stress, guys. If you guys are painting the same thing or something similar, or you guys got inspired by this painting, oh, <laughs> out of hand. It's supposed to be fun and exciting, not stressful, guys. So nothing has to be perfect. Art is always, I don't think people understand the meaning of art. It's exploration, it's uh, innovation. Art is just experimental in nature, you know. You never get it right, really. Uh, but, uh, you know, to the unseen, unexperienced eye, it always looks good. You know. So, there you go. We got a little bit of yellow down there. Okay. Now, to give it some freckles, we're going to have let's see here, a little bit of black. I'm going to add a little bit of black drops on my palette. So we got a little bit of a drop right there. Now, we're going to have some yellows and some whites in our brush and a tiny touch. Tiny touch of black. Just a little touch. Yeah. So I'll be doing this. Little little speckles here, speckles there. I'm just trying to get the feel of gravel rock at the bottom of our fish tank, ocelot tank. A little bit of grays. Now, don't worry if you get too much gray in there, guys. Like I said, art is always only experimental in nature. Kind of just for fun. Kind of just for fun, like Leia said. The queen knows best. Don't you stress. Wolfie Queen knows best. So, in case like in this spot, I got a little bit of darkness here. What we do is maybe add a little bit more light. And you kind of just a little bit of yellow and go over those little dark spots to clarify it, you know. It looks richer. And we let it dry. And we'll come over, we let it dry. And we come back with lighter tones all over again. How about that? We got our rocks there, okay. 
Now, because our little guy is floating in the water, we're gonna start doing, I mean, blues. Go ahead, dip your brush in some blue lay. And start working your way, maybe even add a little bit of white to it. Just start doing some, some little dizzle dazzle here. Some little dizzle dazzle. Work your way around the lines that we made. This is just a fun little ocelot with painting. We hope to reach 1 million views. Yep. You know, I you hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and maybe we'll do more of these cute little tootsie wootsie paintings for you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, we just we just want to share this with the world. If, if we did get like a million views or some, for some reason, mm -hmm. or even just like a thousand, I would be happy to give this away to someone, right, Lele? Mm -hmm. To a lucky subscriber. How about we just paint for lucky subscribers, Lele? What do you think? Yeah. We get some lucky subscribers, we can start painting for you guys. I always wanted to do gifts and giveaways. Uh, last time we did a winter cabin painting with a snowman and a winter cabin, some water too, and mountains. I gave it away to my teacher. That's right. Giveaways are more fun than sales. It makes people happier. Right? Mm -hmm. I like that. A little bit of pink here. Uh, just work your way around the little ocelot's hands, you know. I don't know. How do you say it there? Is it ocelot? Ocelot. Axolotl. Axolotl. Like asking a lot of bottles. <laughs> you know. What if you had a question, Lele? Would you ask a lot of Yeah. Right, here you go. Got some blues here. So pretty much we're gonna be working these beautiful blues, like water, deep water blues. Just working our way around. And right here we have like a little, like a stick type of, type of thing here. Um, I'm gonna tap it down with a little bit of black. All right, Got a little bit of black on the tip. I want to paint this dark. It's not going to be super dark, but it's going to have a little darkness too. Now, I might have to come back and lighten it up. I don't like it too dark. I want it more like a, no, I should get this. You know, like a little wooden chip just laying down in the water. And Oxlo is kind of climbing over it with his fancy little hands. You know, guys, this is going to be beautiful. Painting an Ocelotto gonna be fun. I hope you guys get to enjoy this as much as we are. This painting should not take us more than five hours, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. It should only take us at least like 20 minutes. 20 right? minutes, 30 minutes, you know. <clears throat> the fun part about it begins when everybody starts to cheer us on keep going, make more, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that gets plenty of views by painting stuff that's really cool, and we believe that this little guy is really cool, so we're actually painting something that's really cool, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we are, like so. So I'm adding a little bit of green on the tipsy, just to get these nice tones. I'm adding a little bit of green, tip of my brush, and going over these dark spots, just to enhance the tones, enhance the color. Driftwood, that's, that's what Lele like said, driftwood. She said driftwood, that's exactly what it is. Underwater driftwood, right? We're doing this here. Now, I can't wait to see this hanging on Wolf of Queen Lele's wall. Her bedroom wall will be happy to have this as an addition art piece. But we would also be happy to give it away to a lucky subscriber. You know, if we reached a million of you guys, you know, cheering us on to do more, do more creative stuff like so. See, we like doing fun videos, YouTube videos. We like doing... Um, creative projects uh, of all sorts. So, just kind of figuring out where we belong in this space. We just know we like doing a lot of fun, different things, right? Mm -hmm. There you go, there you go. A beautiful little 
Rattlesnake. What else did you want, Mr. Ocelotl? Oh, he said he wants uh, a little snail at the bottom of the... You know, we all need little friends. Kind of like Bob yeah. Ross said. Bob Everybody Ross once said, Everybody needs a little friend. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. A little stick here. Some wood. Green here. What do you think so far, Lele? Is it coming out good? Is, yeah. it, is it to your liking? It looks great. Right. I like the color of it so far. Now, because we have some little kind of like, some kind of seaweed floating in this up there, that is kind of cool. But I think we're gonna go back to blues to finish adding the colors of the water. Okay. So, I'm gonna just check my brush here, clean it up a little bit. And we're gonna add some more blue to our brush. I think I like this because we gotta get back to this tone here. A little bit of white. And we're going to continue a little way here. Continue working with these little blues to make more water and a deep fishing tank. Or fish tank. Where our ocelot lives. He lives in this beautiful underwater tank, guys. And I just hope you guys are here to enjoy what we're doing here. Did I get the right color? It looks like a good color to me. So, you know, under his chin, we got more. Right here, under my ocelot's chin, we got a little bit more. Just remember, if you're switching colors, just remember to clean your brush every time you switch a color. Sometimes, depending on what you're working with, adding a new color to an old color, it just enriches the vibes. But sometimes you want to keep them clean because that is how work gets done the right way. But like I said, guys, this is all for fun. Don't sweat it if you can't get it. You can always try again. The canvas is always a blank canvas when you buy a new one. You know, five bucks in the store, you know, you mess up, it's a five dollar mess up. It's not a thousand dollar mess up, you know, you messed up, it's five bucks, you go buy another one. Don't worry, guys. Try and try again. This will be the famous and very popular Ocelotl. It's getting a lot of publicity. It's, uh, it's almost extinct in the wild, but they said that it's doing really good in captivity. They said there's plenty of captivity ocelotls out there. But in the wild, they don't do so good. They're not doing so good. So don't find a wild ocelot and take it home, guys. Leave it in its natural habitat. Yep. We wanted to get an ocelot, but it's better to get a painted one. Yeah. <laughs> that way we can always, always just don't have to feed it. So take care of it. We travel a lot and we don't want to leave our ocelot at home alone. Okay, guys, so just paint your way through here. She's doing beautiful, guys. She's doing great. I'm just here observing for a quick second her amazing skill. I'll tell you guys. Queen Lele is doing an amazing job at this. Now let me get back into this rhythm. There we go. Uh, so that's a wee. That's gonna be his tail. So we gotta add this and then. Christmas, guys. Welcome 2022. New year. New year, guys. Karen, you guys believe it? We're back in 2022. I mean, not back. We're, I mean, we're not time travelers, are we? No. We're not back. We're just entering 
the new year 2022 and i wish you guys the best new years ever and fun things to come hope you guys are looking forward to doing great fun things this year okay here we are ignore not <laughs> somebody's watching uh, Cobra Kai back here guys don't worry somebody's watching enjoying Cobra Kai <laughs> Now, as we, we reach higher grounds, I would like to add some blues, right? Mm -hmm. As we reach higher ground, I would add a little bit of dark, darker blue. Right here. Okay. For some reason, it's darker up there this time. Maybe, right, guys? Yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. Don't mind me, guys. I just like to. Uh, Mumble, jumble. Yeah, you know, I always said a good way to clear your mind is to just say gibberish. Blah, 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 you know, good way to clear your stressed out mind that thinks too much. Just say gibberish words, things that don't make really good sense, guys. And you will clear your mind so you can continue on doing productive things, and doing amazing things, fun things, interesting things. Enjoyable things, guys. Just like me on Light Light, baby. Here. Okay. Alright. I like how this is turning out so far. He's, the, my little Oswald here is starting to take shape. Absolutely right about that. La da di da da, oh ya di ya da, do 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 do. Good guys, we got two painters here on this one. We might finish soon. You guys ever did like collabs? Well, this is one fun collabing is fun real quick. Just to switch colors. Collabing is fun. Just so you guys know, we're doing a wonderful collab here with Full Queen. Amazing artist. Water. I'm gonna start doing some greens for the weeds and stuff. Wish me luck, guys. I hope this comes out really great. And sometimes, you know... Whoa, look at that. My brush just fell off. Whoa. I switched brushes. I know, guys. What do you guys think about our Ocelotus so far? I think it's good. Yeah. Well, if you guys are not happy with, with the results here, we're not going to be bummed, you know. We're just going to keep trying harder, guys. And eventually, we'll get it right. That's what art is about. It's about getting it right and learning from experience. 
Learning how to do things the right way takes time, effort, passion, and all those little things that makes up a skilled hand. In the end, la di da 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 Now that water's done, what should I do? Now that you did some water, you can help doing a little bit of a, you know, this. You can color these ones green. They're green. They're kind of like this one. Okay. Like that. Right here, I'm doing a purpley looking little, doing a purple looking seaweed <laughs> rising from the ground. Little viney looking, you know. In the background, it's far away. It's hard to see it. So, there you go, guys. You guys wanted something cool like that? There you go. Mm -hmm. That was cool. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. All right. Lele's doing great. What do you guys think? She's doing great, guys. I think she's doing great. Whoops, guys. I don't want to ruin this here. But I'm sharing a little bit more color. Make it look more blended. Just by smearing this brush back and forth, back and forth. There you go, guys. Some people are watching some Cobra Kai back here, so don't mind them. What do you guys think so far? This ocelotto is going to be done in no time. With two hands at it, don't you worry, guys. We're delivering this, guys, to you. And if anybody wants to buy it, just let us know. It might be a for sale. Five thousand dollars, guys. <laughs> Art is not cheap. Not kidding, guys. Just kidding. We're not gonna do it that much. <laughs> we would be too attached to this to sell it, guys. We probably wouldn't want to get rid of it. You know, if you offered us a thousand, ten thousand dollars, I'd say no, thanks. We just rather have it on my wall. This is my one and only ocelot, guys. I can't get rid of it. Maybe I'll have 10 of them, I'll probably give you guys one. All right? If I have 10 ocelotos, I'll probably say, here, take one. But this is what, one and only ocelotto, guys. One and only. Very, very special ocelotto. Anyway, this is coming out very nice. Okay, just adding a little bit more blending here. The blue is becoming more like a darker on the top, you know. Some shadows coming from the top and the light rays are falling in. Strokes are just meant to be back and forth sway. Back and forth sway. Back and forth sway. Sway your brush back and forth. So there's always an ugly stage. When you start painting something, there's always an ugly stage. So don't worry, guys. 
If it looks ugly during half your wet work, the first, the first stop part of your work is beginning the process. You know, the beginning process is always, it's always an ugly process, guys. So just keep that in mind. As you put in more work into it, it becomes more defined. It's more beautiful. More eye catching, you know. Just keep adding those fine quality details. Don't you stress. And let best time show through. Don't you stress. Don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Speaking of making a mess, Lele, what happened there? You made some kind of spill. It's okay. Well, we wipe it down. We wipe it down. What matters most is that we have a good time here. Oh, make sure you don't push the canvas. We have this canvas laying on a very fragile corner here. One little touch and it will tumble down. It will come tumbling down, guys. Might possibly ruin our art. And the floor. And the wall. And the curtain. So, all right. It's very fragile, guys. Very fragile. Being a painter... You know, you realize that uh, you want to I love it. The sweet is looking good, guys. See, sweet is looking good. All right, so me and Lele are working on this beautiful axolotl painting. She's been obsessed with these creatures for some time now, and I thought, let's paint one. You know, finding one is pretty hard, but painting one should be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the beautiful axolotls. There's more green here, guys. Let's get that bottle over here. La -di -di -da 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 -da. La -di -di -da -di -di -da. Get some more green in there. To beautify this image. And now we're gonna need some more. This. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Okay, so we've gotten through at least half of the process. The other half will be doing the ocelot himself. We got through half the process so far, guys. Now, if we got through half the process so far, guys. Now, if Wolf Queen Lele is willing, she can start painting the ocelot. All right, so okay. I think because he's gonna be an albino ocelot. You know, we're gonna try to make him white like this guy. And the little ears are kind of pinkish, or do you wanna do purple? We could do either, Rich. Do pink or purple, guys. We're picking either. I'm thinking the pink and purple one. Or I can have a little bit of both. So we'll do this. Get your brush ready. And your... Get your guy ready. Alright. Alright, I got your brush. I want you to dip in the white. Dip in the white. Now dip a, a touch of pink. Just a touch. A little bit more white. More white. There you go. And a touch of pink. Alright now. Start working your brush on its tail. From here, like this. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now because it's really pink, we gotta give it more white. More white. I want to continue working on these 
weeds. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, this is becoming a very fun project. I'm uh, very excited to see how far we've come in the last 30, 40 minutes. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my God. This can't be any more amazing. How's your day been? May I, say. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by to check out our little channel here. Hoping to go to 100 million subscribers soon. Soon enough. Okay. I mean, we're just here to cheer you guys up with our happy, happy little paintings, guys. You know? be a meanie. If you don't like it, you don't have to be a meanie. You know, say, oh, you know, this and this and that. And just, just let us just move, you know, go on to the next video. You know, go discover something else that you might really like. For us, we'll stay here. We'll stick around and find the cheerful people and friends that really want to admire what we're doing here. Alright, so at this point, you know, you got some brushes out. Might want to get my little wipe down, clean up. Add some more paints. Look at your brush, guys. Look at your brush palette. I have paint palette. Too. And see if you guys want to add some more to your colors. This is a good time to do so. To renew your color patterns here. I I'm not even, oh, that was beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. your tail. So far, looking so good. What I want to do here is give it a defined shape here. So I'm going to shape the body. Oh, you see how I got some green in there, guys? Don't worry. That means I didn't clean my brush right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give my brush a little wipe down because I've been using a lot of green. Once I wipe it all down, I can get back in there. Finish what I started. I will clean. Go back in there with the little pink and kind of make a little line like this. Kind of follow the line. Just like that with your pinks. My brain's a little messy, guys, so don't worry. We'll pick that up. The more details you add, it might, the better it might look, you know, guys. Sometimes that's just the case. Tap, tap, tap. A lot of the detail work with it. textures and everything is all about tapping. Your brush, again, the canvas, like so. Tap, tap, tap. All right. There you go, guys. A little tapping here, a little tapping there. I'm still getting this weird blue, guys. It might be time to switch my paint. But here we go again. Fix me it right up. There you go. Sometimes it's all about just adding the rich colors. Sometimes when you get a little bit of smudge with different colors in the paintbrush, guys, don't worry. When you add your real color that you're really trying to get to, it just adds to the richness of colors. Now, I'm not no Bob Brown or nothing, but hey, I kind of learned a few things from the old man. Even with the clean lady, they're still watching this channel. You guys should check out his channel. His channel isn't really that hard to type. It's just Bob Ross. Bob Ross, yeah. You type top up first, you'll find a lot of cool stuff. Yep. You have to work with. We're doing a lot of uh, scenery painting. Mm -hmm. We're incorporating here some characters here. So we got a cool little Ocelot. In the comments, if you want, you can type what else we should paint? Mm-hmm, that's right. I wanna just do this right now, guys, because I don't wanna kind of forget. Like, there you go, guys. What do you guys think? Awesome model. Got an eyes now, guys. That is eyes. Time for it. Time to step it up a notch, guys. 
Boom, about to wipe. That's a lot. <laughs> Time to step it under a notch. We're gonna put this thing on overdrive, guys. Let's go. Go ahead, stop letting that in there. At some point, you guys are gonna need some water to rinse your brushes, guys. Right now, we haven't been using any, but I'm gonna go get some right now. Be right back. We'll be clean. We'll take over for a second. Mm hmm. Hello guys, now that he's gone, time to ruin it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm, not. I'm not like that. <laughs> or will I? <laughs> Just kidding. I, I didn't ruin it. Now, oh, he looks like he was working on the here. I'm just gonna take off all of the paints right now and I'm just gonna blend it. I'm just gonna blend this part here so that it looks more pink. Yes. Just a little bit more. I don't want too much pink or too much gray or white. I'm back, guys. Check out what she's working with. It looks beautiful already. Can't wait to see all these beautiful colors show through. Anyway, guys, I went to go get a cup. Now, I know we might not want to ruin our cups at home, so hey, we all probably have one of these laying around. A plastic bottle. Just cut it in half with a knife or scissors, whatever you feel comfortable with. Add some water, and voila. Now you can rinse your brush. I'm pretty sure we all have ideas like this. Now that I have rinsed all the color work from my brush, you know, I'm gonna just tap dry it on some paper or napkins, paper towels, whatever you got. And this is looking amazing already. You guys wanna hear a joke? Yes, we do. Okay, I made this joke. What what does a car say after a long drive? Uh, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> wow, I like that one. I'm tired. What does a car say to what? After a long drive. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out pretty cool, guys, if you ask me. Let's keep working on this lay lay. We're almost done with the queen. All right. We're just gonna keep blending the same kind of color tones. It's like a pinkish, whitish tone. Pinkish, whitish. Now, because he's got some pretty pink tips on it, on those little, what do you call those things that stick out of his head? Gills or something? Gills. They're like fuzzy little gills. Hey, look at this guy. He's coming to life. We're bringing this little guy to life, guys. And you're here with us to witness, witness it. 
we're bringing this guy to life and you're here with us guys and we feel very appreciated thank you guys for joining us to watch this come to life this beautiful little ocelot oh now i want to erase part of his mouth now that i'm painting here but i kind of know where it's at now i have a clear memorized memory of where it was so when i come back I'll know where to put them. Now, because some of these little corners are getting tighter, I'm gonna have Whoopi Queen Lady come here with her fine brush, and she's gonna work the little fingers, okay? Okay. You're gonna work the little fingers because your brush seems finer than mine. Okay. I have this messy, thick brush, so mine is a little, you know, pretty thick. So, hers is a little finer. She might be able to do some finer detail with it. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas last year or whatever you guys celebrate. Yeah, Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Hanukkahs or whatever you guys are doing. Um, if it's nothing, that's also fun, you know, to watch others celebrate, I guess. Some people don't celebrate anything, but they have fun watching others celebrate, All right? I think so. Did you like it? I love it. It's coming out amazing. Yes. So it's got five little hands, right? Fingers? Five little fingers. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to let you do the tentacles. Or, I don't know what they are. I don't know. <laughs> Last time we called them gills. Now we're calling them tentacles. It's turning gray. colors are you using for the feet? A little bit of white because his whole body is almost like white but it has like some kind of pinkish tone. I don't think I can prepare with any fine detail brush. some gray on this hand and it's not letting me. It's okay. Sometimes it's just a matter of letting it dry. Sometimes the colors that you have applied, if you're not happy with that color, just let it dry, guys. Let it dry all the way. And it'll take a few minutes and then you can come back and apply your favorite color to it. Or the color that you meant to apply first. Looking good. Looking good, Hollywood. Looking good, Hollywood. Mm -hmm. There. Now this guy. Okay, this guy has like a Like a little smiley face. Do they have little dots, speckles? Sometimes. This is amazing, guys. This one somehow has five. Looking 
This is guys looking amazing. Look at that. She came in here to blend in. This is blending, guys. This is blending 101. We're learning how to blend with Lele. All right, Lele. Uh oh, it's not pushing too much. It's at the edge. All right, guys. I still got a good view on the camera. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Now we're adding the tentacles, Lele. Would you like to apply some tentacles? All right. You do that side, I'll do this side. What are the colors? Just pink. And a little bit of purple. Just do it a deep, deeper darkness. Blend a little bit of pink with a little bit of purple. Just give it some, apply some darkness to it. I hope it's looking amazing on you guys. I hope you guys are excited to see the whole finished product here. Just adding a little bit of pink with purple. Give it a richer tone. These will stand out. I want these little guys to stand out. The little tentacles are, uh, you know, they're like uh, gills or some type of uh, hairy. Makes him look like he's got like, a hat on or wearing uh, some kind of a fancy little ring around his neck like a lion, you know. So we want these to stand out above the, everything in the painting, you guys. The richness of the color tones. Did I do good on that one? Yes. Looks good. Guys, I hope you guys are still with us. This is turning out awesome. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys are still with us watching the end result here. Getting close to the end. Getting close to the end, y'all. My arms are getting tired, guys. Oh, we got we got one of the collaborators here complaining about the arm pain. This is fun, but it's also a little tiring, guys. Especially when you have a lot of cool details like this. So, small little one right here. You can make it bigger. Yeah, that's good. Just keep it. Uh, there, there you go. It's gonna end right there. You see that little line right here? Yep. End it right there. Oops, kind of ruined it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Painting an ocelot is fun, but painting it for you guys to watch us do it, it's even better. It's also a little difficult. It's a little difficult, but you know what? But it's worth it. It's worth it, guys. It's a lot of cool. We all learn, you know, we all learn from this. Maybe next time we'll paint a better one. Yep. Or a different okay. one. Yes. Different colors. Different tones. This guys right here. Share. Share with your family. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Alright? We do fun things here. Brush layer, go ahead and do some blending. Okay. You can blend that really nicely. I know you. You're an amazing blender. Oh, our canvas is on the edge of destruction. Should I wet my brush for this? Yeah, just a little dry, you know? I mean, a little wet, you know? To do some blending, you need a clean brush. This guy's happy. <laughs> this guy's really happy looking, guys. I don't know about y'all, but my little ocelot is happy, guys, happy. This is a little pretty guy.
doing good so far. So far, doing good. Oops. That's a rain. Oh, look at that. We got a mistake here. It's okay. We're going to have to wipe it down a little bit. Let it dry. Oh, my gosh. How did I get green? Also, we fixed. Getting here to the end, y'all. Uh oh, Lana's a little complaining now. Got uh, baby Lana making up baby noises in the background, guys. Don't you worry. We're gonna get to her right now. Sometimes to get some good blending, you need a wet brush, guys. Light on the hand, light on the colors, light on everything. Guys, this is looking good if you ask me, man. I'm very happy with the results so far. I kind of fixed the. And, and having Wolf the Queen Layla here to assist me with this and participate in this grand. Awesome bottle painting is just the best part of everything. I fixed the green color. Oh, good. Look at that. The best part of painting this with Wolfie Queen Ray Ray is that she's an amazing artist and she's here to help us guys. Oh, we got a baby crying in the background, guys. This means our episode is almost coming to a conclusion. Painting the awesome model. Okay, guys. So I want to give it some little air bubbles here. We gotta finish painting. Oh, this is the back foot. So this this back foot here is like this one, right? Mm -hmm. But it's on this side. So you know, some little toes. I want you to get back some whites. My brush is too thick for this, but let's see if I can. Toe here, toe here, toe here, and toe here. Go ahead and work those in there. Make the quality look nice. Oh. No! He died, guys. He died. Sorry. Uh, at least no paint got anything. So we kind of, you know, make sure we didn't ruin things. Could have been worse, guys. Could have been worse. Okay. <sighs> this off model painting is looking amazing, guys. Thanks to Wolf Queen Lele here to help us with this artwork. I want to thank you guys for watching. Wolf Queen, you guys enjoy for your viewers on YouTube. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see if we have any more paint videos. Yes. And don't forget to hit the like. <laughs> we have finished the axolotl. We added a few finishing details while 
we were off camera. Yeah, they had put the toasted bread in the oven. We have finished it. Let us know if it looks good. Guys, we're getting close to the end, guys. Now, we can spend another four or five hours perfecting this piece. But I think that with the time we spend enough on this, with enough time we spend on this, the more time we spend on it, the better it will look. So, um, for now, for the purpose of making this short video, as short as possible and completing the task you know I think it's, it's decent enough to showcase what we have worked on here so hard and we'll be playing I want to hand her the brush so she can continue on these little hairs I'm kind of just showing her that they're little strokes as you got a flat brush or you can get a flat brush you kind of just yeah, get a little bit of white, a little bit of pink, and you kind of scrape it off the edges on both sides. Hopefully that you end up with a good amount on the very edge. So you can kind of just dip and barely touch like this to make these lines as lightly as possible. Go ahead, go ahead Wolfie. All right. Let you take over that part. All right, I'll make room for you. I won't get out of your way. Go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Beautiful. Probably not gonna show as much because um, the color kind of looks like it, like the back. Stay there for a minute. And dip your brush again so you can get more white, more on the edges, kind of like I showed you. Dip your brush in white, dip it a little bit of ink, scrape it off the edges. There you go. Figure out how to create a fancy little ocelot. The most popular creatures on the planet. Doing good, Hollywood. Look at this guy. He's in the water. He's jumping over a little driftwood. He's, you know, looking for something to eat out here. Uh, right there's a little anemone me staring right back at him. He's got this cute little smile in his eyes, right on his face, <laughs> and uh, this guy's looking amazing. Oh yeah! Almost done with this project, guys. Almost.
There you go.